Pluto, originally deemed the ninth planet from the Sun, now it's called the dwarf planet, this change happened in August 2006 when the International Astronomical Union decided it. Pluto is situated in the Kuiper Belt, a place with icy planets past Neptune, there are many objects like Pluto there, and they are often called Kuiper Belt or Trans-Neptunian objects. In recent years, the reclassification of Pluto has sparked heated debates, prompting inquiries to expand our understanding. To delve into this enigmatic realm of the solar system, NASA initiated the New Horizons spacecraft project, this spacecraft embarked on a remarkable journey of over nine years, marking a significant milestone as the first to reach Pluto. As the spacecraft delved into the mysteries of Pluto, it transmitted back astonishing images, revealing unprecedented details about this relic from the solar system's formation, so the question emerged, could any of this new information hint at the potential existence of life on Pluto, so in this video, we uncover the secrets which hidden far away in our cosmic neighborhood. New Horizons was NASA's first mission in the New Frontiers program, it's like a series of missions led by smart investigators, the spaceship's design was based on other spaceships, made by John Hopkins University, and it had also a special generator for power. At the beginning, it was in space about 105 to 130 miles away from Earth. Then, a part of the spaceship fired up for 9 minutes, to make it go on a big oval path all the way to the asteroid belt, in 2007, the spaceship passed by a huge planet Jupiter, the spacecraft using its gravity to go faster, that saved three years on the trip to Pluto. After that, the spaceship went into sleep mode in 2007, it still checked if everything was okay, but most of its important systems were turned off. During sleeping mode, it found two new moons around Pluto, named Kerberos and Styx, that made the team worry about the junk near Pluto, if there was too much junk, they had backup plans to protect the spaceship. The New Horizons spacecraft was woke up for a short time each year during the trip, it's a smart explorer, keeping an eye on things as it travels through space, in 2015, something cool happened on the way to Pluto, the spaceship New Horizons sent a signal back to Earth, and it took a long 4 hours and 25 minutes to get here. This happened, as New Horizons was getting closer to Pluto, and the spaceship had to make an important change in its path, using its engines for 93 seconds. Now, skip ahead two days, and New Horizons did something awesome by getting really close to Pluto, even closer than Earth is to the Sun. Over the next four months, we saw more and more detailed pictures of Pluto, showing its unique features. The New Horizons scientists discovered two ice volcanoes on Pluto. These are like frozen volcanoes that used to shoot out melted ice from inside Pluto, this finding tells us that Pluto had heat inside it, melting frozen things like nitrogen and methane, Pluto used these ice volcanoes to replace its surface ice, which turns into a thin atmosphere and then goes away into space. Randy Gladstone, a New Horizons scientist, says the escape of atmosphere is not a big deal right now, however. Stern mentions that Pluto's climate changes a lot over time, so it might have lost more atmosphere in the past, this discovery makes scientists rethink how planets like Pluto formed, Dr. Stern shares that the New Horizons spacecraft is still doing well in the Kuiper Belt, moving away from Earth and the Sun at about 300 million miles per year. So what's are your thoughts tell us in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, Kindly subscribe our channel.